Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So today I'm going to be answering a comment that I got on one of my YouTube videos. I've been doing this a little bit lately. I should be prepared and have the actual comment up. But you know what? It's all right because I can I can stall for time while while I'm pulling up this actual comment that I put into my list of of things to do videos on. I've got a pretty big list. I, it, I've actually not been, I've been putting topics onto the list and then taking those off. I've been doing sort of a, a stack model instead of, instead of actually getting the stuff that has been on there for a while. But I've been pretty busy and I, I keep on, I always have topics. Like people always ask me, they're like, John, how do you come up with stuff to make two videos a day? And I'm like, how do I come up with stuff to not make 10 videos a day? I, that, that's the question. That's the real question here. So, Here's it. Here it is. It is here. If I can just bring up this image. Oh man, it's a little bit small. Okay. So I did this video. What was it on? Oh, it was on aging. It was on, it was on dealing with aging. You can check this out. Oh, I've got to figure out where's my pointing. Okay. Point here. So check out that video if you want. I think it's good. I think it's one of my more quality videos on dealing with aging. I, I highly recommend it. Click the little card, you know, go to the description. Just open it up in a new window so that you can keep watching this video. That's how I do it. That's how I watch my own videos is I open up the new one in, the, in a new video, in a new window. Okay, so on that video, I got this comment from Trump, <laughs> okay? And his, his, I, his profile picture is a picture of Donald Trump. So there you go. Right now, at this point in this video, you already hate hate me or love me. So just because I said that. I get depressed every day just looking back at how much time I've wasted. I'm going to be 30 next year and I'm feeling depressed as fuck at the realization that even at this age I'm still a virgin, no friends, no social life, overweight with acne scars, I'm still living with my parents and no job, no money. I've been going hard into learning programming and I'm hoping this is the ticket out of this mess. It's what kept me going. And surprisingly, I've been learning at a fast rate. With the advice you gave me on how to learn anything fast video, you, which videos are you talking about? He's talking about this one, I think. I think I, I've done a lot of videos because I have a course on how to learn anything quickly. So uh, thanks, man. Your videos keep me going. So, okay, Trump, here's what I got to say to you. So I, I actually left a response to this comment and I said basically this, that what you need to do is you need to prioritize. You need to basically go through all those things that you described and you need to prioritize and then w focus on knocking one of those out at a time. This is even a strategy that I do. I have a board, a personal board, right? That's got my, my, my flaws, my character flaws, okay? My issues, right? The things that are the biggest irritants to me in life, right? And they're big projects and I knock them out, okay? One of them is to, is to, to work on my gluteus maximus so that I don't have pancake at. No, it's not that bad. I mean, but some, sometimes I get, I get shit for it. I'm like, really? Come on. But, but it is, it's one of those. I'll be honest with you, right? It's one of those things. So I put that on there. Okay. I've got different things on there, different projects that I've worked on in the past. Right. And I've overcome a lot of things, right? At one point I had, you know, stop being shy, <laughs> like be able to talk to people. This was a long time ago. All right. At one point I, but it's come back to the board. Cause it's like, ah, you did this at a surface level, John, you didn't really dig deep. Like you really need to be able to just like really go up to anyone anytime and talk to them and not be afraid. And I worked on that and bam, I can tell you it, it I knocked that shit out. Okay. But it's cause I focused on it. Right. I'm trying to think some other ones that I had on there. Or, or ones that I have on there. I one was keep one was just typing, like to type normally, to type regularly, because I did this weird three finger typing shit, and I could type like 60, 70 words a minute, maybe even more. But I went and I took a typing course, and I went through and I, and I learned it, right? So I picked these projects out, okay? One of them was filming in public, right? And I'm still working on that, but I've come a long way on this, right? But it's because I picked out these things one at a time, right? I had certain things on the physique side, right? I've picked out different things that, that, I, that I'm working on. So, so my basic advice here, okay? And I'm going to give you a deeper advice level as well, okay? So the basic advice level, the surface level, is just simply this. You got all this shit. You got, you know, whatever. You're fat. You're overweight. I don't, I don't care. You're living with your parents. You don't have a job. You're a virgin. You, you know what? I can't remember all the things that you listed. I, I could list a hundred bad things about myself. You could do the same thing too, right? Every one of us could do that. You're 30. You're almost 30. Big fucking deal, right? It, it doesn't matter. Whatever has happened has happened, right? You, you get to begin a new life now, right? I mean, if you saw me, I think I probably have some pictures. I'm trying to think. When I was 30, 
I definitely have some bad, there was some periods of time in my life where I didn't, I've had my shit all together and then actually after the pec tear, I've talked about this before, I lost my shit for a while. I really did. Like, I've got some pretty fucked up. Like, I got overweight. I got, uh, it, it was bad. It was bad. Okay. It was bad. So, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, lost time is lost time, right? So, you got to take it from here. So, pick one thing out. Okay. The thing that is nagging you the most, that, that's going to make the biggest impact on your life. And then focus on that one thing. Okay. Because if you're focusing on all this stuff, you're like, oh, I got all these things, right? All these defects. And I just want everything to improve. It doesn't happen that way. But here's what happens magically. Okay. When you develop discipline in one area of your life and you start improving yourself and, and developing yourself in one area of your life, what, and you knock that out magically or seemingly magically, other areas in your life also improve. It, it's amazing how this works. Okay. It's because self-discipline that's required in order to improve in one area actually carries over. Right. And, and this is actually not just some shit that I made up, but psychologists, you know, lo love them or hate them or, you know, whatever they have, they have studied this effect. Right. And people who, for example, quit smoking, become more healthier. Right. They, they start, they, they start to lose weight as well. Right. Or, you know, there, there's a lot of different connections where, or if people lose, lose weight, they start getting better at their job and getting promotions and making more money. And they start doing all these other things. It's because they develop that self discipline. Okay. So your life is not so bleak, right? I mean, you can cry and you can whine watch my victim mindset video. Okay. And, and uh, you know, I'm again, I'm not picking on you, bro. Okay. I'm, I'm glad that you commented on the video and you said this, it's honest. Okay. It's fine. I, I accept that. And you should accept that about yourself, but it's time to change. It's time to stop. You have, you know, you don't have it as bad as the entitled victim mindset, but you do have the victim mindset. If you're worried about all this shit, if you're like, if you feel like all of this stuff, right. And, 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 and you're not doing something about it, right? Because there's a victim mindset that says all this shit is happening to me. It's not my fucking fault. Okay. That's the worst victim mindset that you can't help that person. But then there's also the victim mindset. That's the passive one where, where they say, all this shit is wrong with me. And that's all they say. Right. But they're not doing anything to improve their situation. So, you know, you're watching these videos. So maybe you're going to do something to improve your situation, but do it, do it, but you're not going to do it just by, it's not all going to happen at once. Pick one of those things, right? Make the list of all the shit that you want to change in your life. Right. You got to know what you want your life to look like in order to make it, but, but you got to pick that list and prioritize. And then you just focus on that one thing. I mean, do you not think that if you focus on one aspect of the shittiness of your life and try to improve that, that you will be able to do it. If you put all your energy, all the shit time that you start that you're watching TV or, you know, playing video games or goofing off or all that. If you said, no, I am focusing on this one thing. What even whatever dimension it is right from, and I'll, I'll tell you, okay. Just so you know, okay. Let's say you want to lose weight. Say that's the thing. That, that can happen, right? If all the time that you spend, you know, whatever you're doing, right, in your life, right, or you're playing video games, watching TV, I'm just assuming some shit, okay? If you spent all that time just trying to get in shape and planning your diet out, right, would you not get in shape? You would, right? It might take some time, but right? If you, let's say, live living with your parents one, could you move out and get on your own? I mean, I guess you probably need to prioritize getting a job. But you could do that if you spent all your time focused on getting a job. And I know you're learning programming now, so that's good. So you're probably focused on that one. So that's maybe a good one. Maybe that's a good one to start with is that one. Okay. But focus on that. Okay. And then you can work on the other things, right? The, the being a virgin one. I could help you with that one, bro. <laughs> Maybe that one you prioritize to the third. I would, I, maybe I would say like, let's get a job, let's get in shape, let's get laid, right? No, you know, you know what I'm saying? But I could help you with that. That's easy, right? You, it's a numbers game, right? You just, it's, it's what the underlying cause is overcoming shyness, right? So all of these things are solvable problems, but if you try to solve them all at once, or you try to think about them all at once, you, you're not going to make progress and you're going to feel overwhelmed and, and you're going to just stay in the victim mindset. But if you say, no, I'm taking action. I am, you know, when someone says, what are you doing? And you say, this is my goal. Okay. There's, there's a big difference there. And I realize that you're probably working on the programming thing, but are you seriously, seriously working on this? Are you seriously, do you have a plan? I want you to do this right now, my friend, because I have a feeling moving out of your parents' house and getting a job is going to be your number one thing on the list. It doesn't have to be, but I have a feeling that that's the thing that's hitting you the most. I want you to do this. I want you to take out a piece of paper. Okay. Actually, not a piece of paper. I want you to go to your calendar. I'm assuming you have a calendar app like Google calendar. If you don't, then take a piece of paper, but I'm assuming you have a calendar app or you have one on your fucking phone. And I want you to pick a date six months from now, six months. Is that too long? No, let's do six months, six months from now. I want you to pick a date. 
okay? I want you to go in the calendar six months from now exactly, and I want you to put a new calendar entry that says, move the fuck out of my parents' house, okay? That's what I want you to put on there. And you're gonna do it on that day, okay? You are going to, I want you to be committed. I want you to say, if I'm gonna live on the street, I'm gonna live on the street on that fucking day, okay? That's what I want you to do. I want you to pull out the fucking calendar. I want you to put that date on there. That is how you're gonna make it happen, my friend. That is the only way to, that, if you do that, you will make this happen, right? If you know that you will either be on the street or you will be getting your own place and that will involve getting a job or figuring out some way to make money, you will do it, okay? You can do the same thing, you know, maybe put, get laid like two months later, I don't know. It, does, it doesn't, but you see what I'm saying? Like, I want you to do that. Now, second thing I wanna to talk to you at the deeper level, okay? All of this shit, okay, it doesn't actually matter because you think right now, this is what you think. You think if you get that job, all of these things are gonna be cured, right? You think that there's some way to cure all of this shit that's going on inside of you by affecting the outside world. Now, it doesn't work that way. See, it seems like you change the outside world and then that affects you and makes you happy and, and changes your inner, inner state. It doesn't work that way. What happens is that your inner state is a reflection, the outside world, right, your environment, right? What, what ends up happening around you and your success or not in life is a reflection of your inside state, okay? That, that's what the truth is. That's, this is the whole manifesting things. This is the whole woo-woo, crazy law of attraction thing. I, I get this. I get this. This is, is out there, but trust me on this, okay? All of this stuff, right? All this stuff that you think is wrong with your life and, and the world and, and all these things, it's a reflection of the inside state of you, Okay, and those things don't fucking matter because if you get that inside state right, all of a sudden those outside things will start to fall into place. And if you get and if you don't get the inside state right, you can get. I'll tell you this, right? Okay, and I know you don't believe me, Trump. I, I know you don't, but but I'll tell you this. Okay, you can get the job, you can get the girl, you can get laid, you can make a lot of money, right? You can lose weight, but if you haven't dealt with that inside shit, if you still haven't accepted yourself and and, and dealt with the inside shit as a person, then you're never gonna be happy. You're, you're gonna, all, there's always gonna be something else. There's always some other level, right? No matter what, like I can always, no matter what I've ever attained in life, I've never been satisfied. You know what I mean? And again, it doesn't mean I'm not grateful. I'm really fucking grateful. I'm grateful because I've worked on a lot of my inner shit. And, and I realized that like, whatever, whatever happens, whatever, wherever I'm at, I have the capability, like all of that, that wellspring of fil fulfillment and joy, it comes from inside, right? And I always have the capability to tap into that. I mean, life is fucking wonderful, okay? Like, but I have the capability to tap into that. So I'm grateful, but I'm never satisfied, right? And you shouldn't be, you should be fucking hungry. That's how you achieve to the next level. So if you're working on all this external shit, but you're not working on the inside, if you're not changing your attitude, if you think that someone's coming to save you, or if you think that changing your external world, if you think that is going to fix things for you, that there's any kind of event that could happen externally from you that is going to fix your life and fix how you feel about yourself and fix those things? Nope. You gotta do some deep inner work. You gotta examine, you gotta realize, you gotta accept, you gotta accept where you're at right now first. Okay, keep watching my videos. I, I've got a lot of content on this. Okay, there's a lot of good books that you could read on this as well. But you, you've gotta do that, you've gotta work on that. And, and, you, and, and really, it starts at this. It just starts at this. I just want you to get one notion here because I know there's a lot of work here. But I just want you to know, I just want you to, to recognize and to accept that the, there's no external event, there is no change in your fate in your life that is going to fix this. Nothing, nothing. Do not say, if I had the girl. Do not say, if I had the job. Do not say, if I had the money, if I wasn't living in my parents' house, if I didn't have the acne scars. Do not say any of that because all of those things could be corrected in your life. And if you, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna change this. It's not gonna change this, okay? You gotta start with this. And then, and then uh, magically, all of those things will start to, or many of those things will start to change, right? Because it comes from the inside. So. Trumped. Thank you. Thank you for your response. Okay. And yeah, I'm, am I coming up at you pretty fucking hard? Yeah, I'm coming at you pretty fucking hard, but this is what you need. We all need a kick in the ass. Okay. I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to be your friend. <laughs> I'm here to be, be the guy that is, is kicking your ass. That, that's motivating you. That's making you realize this shit. So there you go. I, I, I want to see, I want to see this. I want to see, you know, Email me, say that you you know you did the vi that I did the video and stuff, and, and let me know. I want to see in six months when this calendar date comes. I want to hear your fucking story. I want you to tell me how you moved out of your parents' house and all this stuff, okay? Because I believe in you. All right, it, it, you might not believe in you right now, 
but I do, okay? I see it. All right, so keep going. Keep going down the path. So, so don't, don't worry about where things are right now. It, just, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, just work. Just work. Pick the thing out. Work on it. And work on yourself. And, and you're, you're going to find it. You're going to find your way, right? But you got to get rid of this, this mentality. Like I said, you're in this neutral, this passive victim mentality. we got to get rid of that. we got to realize that the external world does not control our internal. We control our internal, and that influences the external. All right. I have beaten, beaten the dead horse. Where's the dead horse stamp? Bam. Let's put that down. I need a, a shirt with dead horses. But, all right. If you like this video, if you think that there's a Trump in your life, okay, that could use this help, share them the video. That's what I ask. That's what I ask. Share them, share them the video. And then I ask you, of course, that if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, I, I haven't done my job. <laughs> so click the subscribe button to tell me I've done my job and you want me to kick your ass every day with videos and click the bell so that you get it every day. Or don't, don't click the subscribe button and tell me I haven't done my job. But Pick one of those. You pick a fucking choice. All right? I'll talk to you next time. Take care.